We begin with Oscar Proud returning home to his loving family. After all that love is over, he notices that Sugar Mama is giving out some love to um Lawrence Fishburne. The jacket he's wearing was actually a gift from Sugar Mama because he forgot his wallet when he tried to buy it. Oscar is now even more concerned than he was five seconds ago. He tells her that she needs to spend her money on herself and she flexes her new outfit on him. I think it's Juneteenth, so they're having a cookout in the backyard. Oscar is over there hating on Sugar Mama and Clarence. He thinks Clarence has to be a juggalo. My mistake, he said gigolo. And doesn't want to see Sugar Mama end up on welfare due to him. He has a secret strategy and invites Poppy from across the street. He exclusively speaks Spanish and nobody understands what the hell he's talking about. He actually hates Sugar Mama, but her singular linguistics prevent her from being able to tell. If you haven't seen the show, that, that's the joke. She tells him that Clarence is her boyfriend and he is off the moon. He goes to the club and he gets some young thotties in celebration. Back at the barbecue, this man Oscar has never seen a Rodney Scott YouTube video and he burns the hell out of everything. His burns are turning into grad students. Clarence offers to take everyone to the fanciest restaurant in town, his treat. They're all smacking their lips, eating like they ain't never ate before. The bill comes and Clarence somehow forgot his wallet again. Oscar's suspicions only grow hotter. The waiter is ready to beat his ass and Sugar Mama pulls out a fat stack and asks, is that enough? Oscar hires a private eye in order to spy on Sugar Mama, but he needs to keep it secret from Trudy. She of course walks in and scolds all of them. Apparently Shaft over here is just a mall cop. Shaft goes out and while watching her, he gets some pictures of them bungee jumping, skydiving, parasailing, go-karting. He even interviews some sweet old ladies who Clarence had finessed in the past. Say what you want about the mall cop, but he's pretty good. Right when he's revealing the damning evidence to everybody, Sugar Mama walks in with some astounding news. Next week, her and Clarence are getting married. Everyone is so excited, but Oscar is still hating. Sugar Mama wants everyone involved in the wedding. La Cienega's job is to tell Poppy and she's just like, I'm fairly certain he's all right. Oscar now needs to find a way to tell Sugar Mama. Even Trudy is dumbfounded. Luckily, Sugar Mama walks in and she heard everything. She'd been new all that. All the women only wanted him for his money. Oscar asks, what money? Sugar Mama tells him to stay out of grown folks business. Sugar Mama only has a week before the wedding, so she does a classic Rocky montage. If you know anything about montages, you know that it immediately works and she loses all her extra weight. It's the day of the wedding and Oscar and Trudy are walking in in amazement. This wedding looks like Kim and Kanye's. They even have Smokey Robinson singing at this wedding. Oscar thinks he's just Richie from Family Matters, but he notices that Smokey has green eyes, so it has to be him. Smokey pulls out the 50 racks that Sugar Mama paid him to flex on Oscar's hating ass. He then steals his wife and Trudy really has a hold really on him. Got a hold Wizard on. Kelly then walks up and gives Sugar Mama's bill to Oscar $75,000. Bobby walks Sugar Mama down the aisle. Oscar says she got a tummy tuck. Sugar Mama don't like that disrespect. It's time for the matrimony and when the priest asks if anyone has any objections, Oscar with a mouthful of flowers is silent. But a voice comes. It is Clarence's son. He reveals that he is actually Roscoe of Roscoe's Ribs and French Toast. Wizard Kelly even says that he's the richest man in the country. Oscar realizes he's rich and starts begging to let his mom marry Roscoe now. His son reveals that he has terrible dementia, but amazing game, so he does this all the time. Oscar really starts begging now, and Sugar Mama tells him to have some decorum. Clarence's son gives them a check for everything. Sugar Mama cries tears of a clown. Sugar has been starving herself to fit in her dress, and the first bite she takes in two weeks expands her back to regulation size. She's like those pills you throw in water and then they grow. Poppy tried to holler at Skinny Sugar, but the big one is the one he got.